hey everyone welcome back to another video for today's video i'm going to be sharing my current perfume wish list with you guys it's fragrances that i am interested in picking up fragrances that i kind of have my eye on i just wanted to share what i have been kind of tempted by because i definitely want to pick them up i'm just kind of taking my time with the purchases of fragrances i think these i'm gonna pick up after i move i'm not sure yet but if you are new here and you love fragrance talk if you love anything girly body care beauty self-care go ahead and subscribe i would love to have you here for my future upload and with that said let's jump right into my perfume wish list So here are some fragrances that I would like to add to my collection. Some of them are fragrances that I have had in the past and I've kind of been like thinking about bringing them back because something in me is telling me that I might love them now. So let's start off with the first two. The first two were definitely fragrances that I saw Ksenia talking about here on YouTube. I love watching her channel. And even though we have completely different fragrance tastes, we do have some fragrances that we do enjoy. Sometimes I watch channels where I don't like the types of fragrances that they talk about at all, but I still find it super entertaining. I still love to hear people describe fragrances and what they get from them. It's just super fun for me. This is definitely like a hobby and a passion for me. So I'm very active on watching. I definitely don't comment on every single video I watch because it's just sometimes I'm watching and I'm cooking or I'm taking care of the girls or just doing a million things in between but i definitely watch a lot of fragrance content so ksenia recently it was actually a, a while back but i don't know exactly what video it was but she was talking about joe malone blush suede peony and she said that she really really enjoyed it so i went to sephora for just i always go to sephora to shop and they had a tester and i did get to smell that one and i actually think that it's really really beautiful it's like a very feminine girly scent it is a floral which i'm not really a floral type of person but since it's peony that floral is definitely one of my favorite florals and the ones that are easier for me to be able to wear so the main accord for peony and blush suede or blush i don't know which way it is but the main accords are floral rose fresh leather fruity and musky the notes are really beautiful uh, it opens up with red apple and then you have peony rose jasmine and carnation and the base note is suede so it just makes it a very interesting fragrance because you do get like that feminine beautiful floral touch with a little bit of fruitiness and then that base just makes it a little bit more grown up so i definitely did like it at the store even though it wasn't enough for me to be able to like give a review or talk about it because there's so many smells going on at sephora but from first impression trying out the tester i'm definitely interested in that one i might start off with like a travel size of it to see how it lasts on my skin and then the next one that was also one that i wanted to try because of ksenia as well and this is one that i already had in my collection and i did a review on when i f way back when i first started my channel because that was one of the fragrances that i've had like the longest back then when i first started my channel and i remember loving the longevity of it the performance the scent and she recently did like a haul i think it was a sephora haul and she showed it and she was just like oh i'm gonna talk about this soon she didn't give her thoughts on it or anything but it did look like she really did like it but when i saw it i was just like hmm I decluttered that one and as soon as I saw her show it I was just like damn I think I miss it like I think I definitely miss it so sometimes decluttering that's a bad part about decluttering once I move I'm probably not gonna declutter as much because sometimes you get tired of a fragrance but then you kind of want it back after a while so the fragrance that she was talking about and the one that is on my wish list again is my Burberry blush this fragrance is like if you love feminine girly fragrances this is literally like at the top of that list like it's just so feminine so girly and flirty and just pretty and it just makes me think of the color pink i remember giving a review for it and talking about how good the longevity is and how feminine and girly it is so the main accords for that fragrance are fruity fresh spicy rose floral fresh woody citrus aromatic white floral and green the notes are pomegranate and lemon so the opening is just beautiful 
Middle notes are green apple, rose petals, and geranium. And the base notes are wisteria and jasmine. So it's crazy that the base note of that fragrance is jasmine. I don't remember it ever bothering me. It has amazing longevity and I definitely want to add that one back to my collection. So thanks to her for kind of mentioning it and making me think about it again because I had just forgot about that one. Another one that I want to add to my collection and I have smelled many times in store, but I'm kind of hesitant about it because Nest fragrances just don't last on me. So I don't know if I should pick this up, but it's Golden Nectar by Nest. So every time I go to Sephora, I spray this fragrance for some reason. And the main accords are powdery vanilla, musky amber, sweet floral, leather, soft, spicy, and animalic. The notes are vanilla, amber, orchid, musk, and suede. So it has vanilla and orchid, which are some of my favorite notes in fragrances. So this is one that I definitely want to pick up, even though I don't remember. I don't think it lasted too long on my hand as well, but I'm going to see if I can find that one like at a discounter website or just for less. I don't really want to pay full price for it, but it is a very beautiful scent. It was just unique in a way as well. Definitely powdery vanilla. It's kind of comforting. It was musky. So I definitely want to add that one to my collection at some point. All right. So this next fragrance on my wish list is from Toka. You guys know that I have really been loving Toka fragrances, but I only have two at the moment. And the only reason I haven't bought more is because those bottles are so heavy. They are heavy. If you throw that at someone, you can really hurt them. So, or like if that was to fall on your toe or something, like you need to be real careful with those bottles. Even the cap is heavy. But I have been wanting to try a few from Toka. Like I definitely want to try Stella, which I think has like blood orange and citrusy types of notes. So the one that I really want to add to my collection, I'm not sure if this is still being sold. I have to check their website, but I have seen it at discounter websites like FragranceNet and that is Toka Colette. So the main accords for that one are woody, citrus, powdery, aromatic, vanilla, amber, fresh, spicy, violet, musky, and balsamic. The top notes are Amalfi, lemon, bergamot, juniper berries, and mandarin orange. The middle notes are violet, pink pepper, jasmine, and cyclamen. And the base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, musk, amber, Virginia cedar, incense, and pine needles. So it's like a very interesting scent. The only thing is that I haven't tried that one. So I have it on my wish list, but that would be a blind buy. So if you do have that one, let me know how you like that one. But I'm very interested in trying that one. Ooh, this next one, you guys. I think this one has been discontinued. So I'm going to have to order this one from like eBay, which I have no problem ordering on eBay. All of the times that I've ordered fragrances from eBay, they have always been authentic. I just make sure to purchase from sellers that have like close to 100% positive feedback. Like I'm very picky on who I purchase from. So this one I wore back in like 2014 is when I had this fragrance. It was a favorite. I love this so much. And I did bring it back into my collection like a year or two ago, but then I got rid of it. I was just very like, back and forth with it. But I went to the military base here, the store. They have a lot of perfume testers. So I always go there and I spray something on myself. And I went over and I sprayed Givenchy's Very Irresistible. I'm going to put a picture of the bottle. It's not irresistible, the EDP version. This is very irresistible. It was a longer bottle. It was like a hot pinkish type of color. And oh my God, when I sprayed that on my wrist, I forgot how amazing that fragrance was. Like how feminine and grown and sexy and classy at the same time it is. It's definitely floral, which I don't really gravitate towards but this definitely has like that warm spice that i love in fragrances so i just i need to get it back in my collection the scent is just so beautiful and it lasts a long time that fragrance will last for a really long time it's a great performer the main accords for that fragrance are rose floral soft spicy anise fresh citrus and aromatic the top notes are cassia lemon verbena and star anise is this the right one? Very, okay, wait, so which one did I try? Now I'm confused because they're showing an EDP and they're showing, I guess this is like the EDT. Crap, so which one did I try? I don't know now. There's two. 
Okay, so one of them has cassia, lemon, ver lemon verbena, star anise, rose, peony, magnolia. It has taif, rose, musk, vanilla, and patchouli. Then there is the parfum. I think it might be the parfum. Now I want to try both. I don't know which one it was. So the parfum has star anise, pear, and green apple. Very different. So now I don't know which one it was. Damn it. <laughs> I don't even remember which one I had. Okay, well. So the EDP has star anise, pear, green apple, Liv Tyler Rose, Rose Peony Magnolia, Rose Vanilla and Patchouli. I am so confused now. So I'm definitely going to have to get, I'm going to get both because I want to see, I'm very, very curious as to what the difference is between those two because I really like the uniqueness of the notes in both of those. We're going to have to get both. I'm going to have to get both and see which one I like better, but that one's beautiful. I need it back in my collection. It's so beautiful. I love that warm spice that it has. It's so sexy, but classy. It's like sexy, but the woman is sexy, but not out there. She still has a like class to her. So that is Givenchy, very irresistible. The next fragrance I have been wanting to try for a while, but then I was talking to one of my subscribers, Dani. She told me that she recently got lipstick fever from Juliet Has a Gun. And I think she told me that the longevity wasn't too good. But a lot of people have been telling me that that fragrance is really, really good. I've never tried that one. So the main accords for that one are powdery, woody, violet, fruity, iris, sweet, earthy, vanilla, patchouli, and floral. Which I think I asked her if the violet was strong and she told me that it wasn't. She said that it reminded her more of like the makeup counters at the department stores. And I was just like, ooh, I love that smell. Like when you smell all of those smells mixed together and like the makeup and all that. So it has raspberry, violet, iris, patchouli, cedar, and vanilla. So it does sound like it's going to be powdery, maybe a little floral. I wonder if the raspberry is prominent or not. I would love to hear your thoughts on lipstick fever if you do have the lipstick fever and then another one that i want to bring back to my collection but i'm definitely going to do travel sizes of both of these before i get a full size bottle so this other juliet has a gun fragrance i hated when i it's in one of my first videos ever on my youtube channel it was like a fail failed blind buys or something like that but this is vanilla vibes i did not like that fragrance but I got that fragrance very early on when I was learning about notes, when I was getting into collecting fragrances. And there was a lot of fragrances that I did not like back then that I do enjoy now. So I definitely want to give that one another try. I do remember that one getting a little too, I don't know if it was ambery, and I do struggle with amber. Let's see. Oh no, it, it has benzoin. That might be where the problem is at but it opens up with salt actually let's read the main accord so the main accords are vanilla salty powdery sweet amber marine woody warm spicy musky and balsamic so i do remember loving the opening and the opening is salt vanilla absolute and orchid so you guys know i would absolutely love that because i love orchid i love vanilla salt is a 50 50 it could be bad or it can be good on my skin and then the base notes are tonka bean sandalwood musk and benzoin so i think what i didn't like back then was a benzoin which i still can struggle till this day with that so that's another one that i really want to try and get like a travel size of that one and then this one i already ordered so there's one that's on the way to me this is the last one i'm going to talk about today so the last time that I was talking about Versace Dylan Turquoise and I was talking, I've been talking a lot about fragrances with guava in them as well as the new Sol de Janeiro Body Mist, which is the bikini season has guava in it. So I had one of you guys, which I need to find the comments so I could put it on here because thank you so much for letting me know about this one because I had no idea about it. Uh, she asked me if I had ever tried Ralph Lauren Romance Summer Blossom. And I picked up the EDP because the EDT had guava, but it was mixed with orange. And sometimes citruses, it depends how citruses are made. They could either be good or I could totally not like that scent profile. So I went with the EDP because it's literally guava by itself. I didn't know that there was a Ralph Lauren fragrance that had guava in it. So I'm very excited. It's called Summer Blossom. So hopefully it's good for summertime. And the main accords are musky, fruity, yellow floral, tropical, powdery, sweet, fresh, and woody. The top note is guava. 
the middle note is elang elang and the base is musk i hope i like this one i that was a blind buy i didn't smell it or nothing before but she told me that it was really really nice and that it was like a guava fragrance so since i am trying to get more fragrances with guava because it's a little hard to find fragrances with guava and with mango i feel like sometimes mango i do see more mango in like niche fragrances but they add so much crap into them that it ends up being something totally different like there's some mango fragrances where i think it's gonna be mango and all i get is like a screechy white floral with like these notes that i just don't like so i prefer kind of like when i'm focusing on a specific note that's the note that i want to smell so i'm hoping that so if you have ralph lauren's romance summer i think this was like a limited edition so i did order it off of ebay i got the 3.4 ounce bottle for like 60 bucks so it was a very good deal so i have it on the way so i'm going to be talking about that one soon and that is it for my perfume wish list at the moment so i would love to hear your thoughts on these fragrances if you own them or if you like them or don't like them and any fragrances that you have in your perfume wish list that you would like to share i would love to hear about it i cannot wait to chat with you guys thank you so so much for being here with me today give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it it really helps out my channel subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video Ooh, la, 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 la.